using memos for data analysis and Atlas TI-9 windows. This is how your interface could look like when you query your data and write up the analysis. In this example, you see the code co-occurrence table on the top left-hand side, a memo below it, and the Project Explorer on the right. As we will see later, this facilitates linking quotations to memos. We recommend that you prepare a memo for each research question or topic you want to write about and begin your memo by specifying what you want to write about. Next, think about how you can find an answer to your research question. What kind of query do you need to run? To find answers to research question 4, we need to take a look at the results of a few code co-occurrence tables. Results are displayed in the form of numbers, visualized by the Sankey diagram and the heat map. And of course, you can also access the data behind the numbers. Important is that you not only take a look at the results, but also write down your thoughts, ideas, and interpretations. A good idea is to start by summarizing the data, then begin to interpret the data. Think about possible theoretical explanations, draw upon other studies that have reported similar or contradictory findings, and build up your explanation step by step. If you come across a quotation that you think you would like to cite later on in your report, you can link it to the memo via drag and drop. The number behind the memo, here too, shows the number of quotations that are linked to the memo. In case you wondered how you can set up your interface like this, here's how it works. We first set up the code co-occurrence analysis. Then we open the memo. And add it to a tab group below the table. The last step is to move the Project Explorer to the right-hand side of the screen. You might also find this option handy for other purposes. Once it is time to write your report, you export the memos that you have written up for the various research questions, including the quotations that you have linked to them. In the Memo Report window, you select quotations, their content, and optionally, the codes that are linked to those quotations. If you've set up the memo as we recommend, it includes the research question, the path you took to find an answer to that question, and your summary and interpretation, and some quotations that illustrate it. This way, the research process becomes transparent and others can comprehend how you found answers and derived conclusions. You can open the memo in Word or copy and paste its content. This is how it might look like in a report. The quotations you've linked to a memo can be added to the text where appropriate, and the reference, like the quotation ID and the location in the document, can be added at the end of the quote. 